Hi, my name is Caleb, and we're going to talk about dinosaurs. Caleb Curls. My project here, this, this is a dinosaur. They're all in different countries and different worlds. And there's one more thing. These are what dinosaurs look like in, in their bones. What are the bones called? Fossils. And where else do you see fossils? Fossils. At, um, museums. Hi, my name is Caleb, and we're at the, um, the Atri, um, What's like the part again? I forgot. I got it. Hi, my name is Caleb, and we're at the Nat San Diego, California. And we're here to see dinosaurs. Everything is temporary. What is not is our culture. There's a revival going on right now in one of the oldest neighborhoods in San Diego. The redevelopment in Barrio Logan is bringing with it a clash between the old and the new. For Mario Torero, this is a battle for the very soul of these streets. This is the mobilization that the Barrio is going through due to the pressures of gentrification. We've known this was coming for a long time. We prepared ourselves. We've been here 46 years. 
uh, fighting the fight here. Artwork has long been a part of this neighborhood. Its identity defined by Chicano Park and its murals. Murals that act as a loudspeaker to communicate with all who see it. Painting this mural here not only served to, to, to show the, 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 our pride for our community, but also to talk about the things that are happening. This particular design is on the Diego and Sun building, right on the corner of Evans and National Avenue. Probably that's what you need, just a bit a thicker outline. A process that began October 2016. We are here putting the final touches to a mural that we're dedicating to the history of Barrio Logan, Chicano Park. And while we were been painting this, there's been some incidents around here, tragedy as a matter of fact, of the four people that were killed at Chicano Park. So uh, the community is, uh, is, is, is utilizing this mural to express a remembrance of their spirits on the wall. Using acrylic water-based latex, Mario Terrero and his students from the La Jolla Antonia Music and Arts Library painted day and night, producing a visual story that connects to the people of the barrio, stories that talk about the concerns and issues facing this neighborhood. It's just now we're able to express it ourselves more uh, because of the threat of the stadium, and we feel that we do have trying to save here a little bit of Barrio Logan. You know, we've been seeing it disappear throughout the years. So it's the community making a stand, inspired by Chicano Park, because we're all babies of Chicano Park. And if art is truly a reflection of who we are, what does this particular piece say about not just this community, but San Diego as well? So it's not just a, a, a Mexican or, or Chicano thing, it, it, it is our community in the community of San Diego. A mural that not only acts as an unfiltered visual documentary reflecting the concerns of the neighborhood, but will also serve as an inspiration for the future. This is our way of expressing ourselves, and that's why I do what I do. It's, uh, um, I feel that there's a call for me to, to, be, to help humanity. Hello, Caleb. You seem... well. Ah, so maybe things didn't go exactly as you planned. He took everything from me. I took what was agreed. And I took back what was owed. My wife? My son? just getting in your way. I did you a favor. Monogamy and kids are so overrated nowadays. You gonna pay for this? You really think you can hurt me with that mortal thing? Oh, but it's worth a shot. Man, I didn't think it would hurt you. I, 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 I've never fought a gun before. I was aiming for your heart. My heart is here, Dick! 
What did you like flunk out of anatomy class or something? Yeah, I did, but that teacher had it out for me. Oh God. Oh, dude, that oh, looks bad. Uh, why is it bleeding so much? It's a freaking knee. I don't know. I just told you I flunked out of that class. Okay, okay, okay. Nope, you're done. Give me the gun. No. Give me the gun, kill. No. Nope. Oh fuck! Oh god. Oh, oh my freaking shit, man! Uh, I, my bad, dude. I didn't. I, I totally didn't mean to do that. Oh, it's fine. Okay, I'll just walk it off. I'll just walk it off. I'm good. Pretty sure that's the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do oh. right now. Ha, ha, okay, okay. Ha, ha, ha. What the hell, bro? It was an accident. A bonus. It was. You came at me. You were grabbing the gun. My finger wasn't even on the trigger. I think you did. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Shut, shut your mouth. Uh, you like, way up there, way up there. Uh, <sighs> did you like bathe these bullets in holy water or something? Yeah, I did. I didn't think it was gonna work though. Everyone uses holy water. Even people that don't wash their hands use holy water. Wait, people don't wash their hands before they dip their hands in the holy water? Some people wash their hands. It's only like 30% of people in America wash their hands regularly. Ew! That's gross! Babies are like blessed in there! Okay. okay. Just, uh, you know, just a uh, headshot. What? Just take the gun and shoot me in the face! No, man, I can't. What do you mean you can't? This is what you wanted! Yeah, at first, this is weird now. But what's weird? That you shot me? In the knee? In shin? And dick? Yeah, um, I'm gonna take off now. Wait, come on, don't be a prick, just off me! Yeah, I, uh, I gotta be somewhere, anywhere, but here. No, hey, Caleb, come on, man! Caleb! Hey, can you at least give me the gun so I can off myself? Today, please. I'm sorry, Riley, but that's a Comic Con exclusive. Come on, time for school. Why, Ashton, this is a rebellion. Cassian, K2, it's time. Are you with me? All the way. There's a 97.6% chance of failure. Proceed. <laughs> Success. Oh no. What? Blast him. Catch him! No! Stay away from Lewis. He's mine. Look at Let us finish what Riley started. Riley is so busted. Dad, I opened the Jean Ursel figure. Honey, why would you do that? I just want to spend time with Dad. Riley, go to your room. And grab your toys. We have a Star Wars play game. You know you're still busted, right? I know. <laughs> it's nice to see you again, Sergeant Urso. Sir, Sergeant? Mission accomplished, Captain. Come on, Obi-Wan. 
You're still on a timeout, Anakin. Increased body fat, increased muscle tone. It's gonna be amazing. All right, here's the deal. What? Small, regular, and the. Can we get that heart rate up? Burn calories. Together so well. It's so glamorous, and again, the colors are so perfect. And we've got them right now, brand new. That's right. Hey guys, Tanner Mays here, and boy, do I have an amazing product that's gonna blow your mind. Are you one of those men that's hit the wall? Your communication with the missus has flown the coop and your sex life is virtually non-existent? Well, those days are about to end, my friend, with this amazing little gadget. The Perfect Wife Wonder Wand. Let me demonstrate. So let's say you want a cheeseburger. You just push the button labeled food, point, and watch her graciously comply to your command. How's that for having it your way? And there are many other wonderful buttons on this little lifesaver, such as foot massage, get me a beer, and a favorite button of men all over the world, the mute button. So you come home from poker night with the guys, and you're feeling a little frisky. You go into the bedroom, and you find your wife. Say goodbye to Frankie, and bam! You can get your sanity back for only $29.95. That's right, I said it, $29.95. And if you call within the next 10 minutes, we'll throw in shipping absolutely free. So what are you waiting for? Pick up the phone. A lifetime of bliss is only a phone call away. It also comes in pink for the ladies. Limited time offer only. What are you doing? Michael, 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 make it stop. Mike. got so dull and so boring, I was just trying to put a little spark back into our marriage. I know. I'm sorry, too. I guess we're both guilty. Gosh, do you remember how much fun we used to be? All the times we had? We should stay like that. You're right. Otherwise, we'd become like our parents. It's like our worst nightmares coming true. <laughs> I love you, Michael. I love you, too, Marcy. You are the light of my life. The sun rises and sets for everything that you do. Oh my god. I thought they'd never shut up. Just sickening. Take four. Action. Now, what would you expect to pay for this little slice of heaven? A hundred dollars? A thousand dollars? Maybe even ten thousand dollars? Well, think again. Today, and only today, you can get a, your t- mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
buddy. Are you by yourself? What are you doing? Where's your owner? Hey, come here. What are you doing? Are you by yourself? Where is your parents? Where are you going? Wait, wait. Hey, buddy, come back here. Where are you going? Hey, buddy, where are you, buddy? Hey, buddy, where are you, buddy? What are you doing? Buddy, what are you doing? Hey, I... <laughs> <laughs>
Shotgun. Every time. Where to for the birthday lunch? What? It's your birthday, you get to choose. I don't care. But it's your birthday. I choose not to choose. You can't do that. You have to choose. It says who? My birthday, not choosing. So, where do I go? Not choosing. Fine, sushi? No, somewhere vegetarian. They have vegetarian sushi. I would prefer not to eat kelp, thank you. Pizza? No, it's not gluten-free. And I'm on a diet. Are you kidding? Mexican. Yes. 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 No. Anarchist. Lunch deals are going to be over before we get there. How about that new vegan place? No, oh, vegans creep me out. But you're vegan. No, I'm vegetarian. That's very different. I get to have cheese. Oh, I miss cheese. I can't have any cheese on my diet. Somebody decide something. I'm starving. Me, me too. too. Not choosing. Fine. Indian. No, too many calories. Pho? Pho. Excuse me? It's pronounced pho. Do you want pho? No. Fuck. Oh. Are you eating my birthday gift? Sure am. We're never leaving, so. That's so rude. I can't believe it. Children. You birthday person chooses. We have rules for a reason. He can't choose not to choose. He can, and he did. Not choosing. Oh, screw my diet. I'm starving. Give me that. Choose! Nope. Not doing it. Not choosing. Mm -hmm. We could make the early bird special at Flanagan's. No! no!
love. Morning Mayhem Show. Morning Mayhem with your hosts, Maximus Grime and Joe Bukaki. Featuring Janine with Traffic and News. You guys, good morning. Good morning, Janine. Welcome to the show. Janine is our new news and traffic person. Feel free to chime in anytime you like. That's right, Janine. Welcome to the show. And as our longtime listeners know, it's 7.05, which means it's time to get rid of those Monday Blues. Oh, I like where this is going. Da, 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 that's, that's what, what she, she said. said. And nothing gets you out of those Monday morning blues like a little cold-blooded murder. So, here we go. Red Murder Mondays. That's right, Joey B. Let's check in with our assassin on the street, Mr. Cuddlesworth, who's being followed by the Monday morning mayhem team. Mr. Cuddlesworth, are you there? Yeah, Maximus. I'm here on the corner of Pensacola and Main Street. Looking for someone with the WKILZ, please kill me it's Monday stick on their car. From there I'll be stalking them and hopefully murdering them before they make it to work. Then it's time to cuddle. But remember folks, if you spot Mr. Cuddlesworth driving around in the WKILZ murder mobile and you maim or murder him, you can win $105. Is it true that you really do cuddle to people that you kill? Only the people I kill. What is the feeling that you have when you're cuddling your, I would say, victims, I guess? There's no greater feeling than a cuddle. I think he has mommy and daddy issues. Mr. Cuddlesworth, who is your first victim? I'm following an awkward costume in a white four-door sedan. All right, if you're an awkward-looking gentleman in a four-door white sedan, look out! Wait, am I not getting the joke right? Because, uh, I mean, are they using water pistols? You wanna play? We'll play! We'll play! shooting each other from inside the cars and there's a traffic jam in Pensacola so people are advised not to to go to that area at all. Sounds like our boy Mr. Cuddlesworth is out there causing some havoc. Caller, you are on the air. Yeah, yeah, I have my eyes on Mr. Cuddlesworth now. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take him out. Well, Caller, best of luck, but remember, you have to say the phrase that pays before you kill him or else it doesn't count and you don't win those. 100. $5, courtesy of WKILZ. Hey man, that pullover's at a parking lot right in front of us. That guy's still following us. Looks like the perfect place to cuddle. Is less 
talk more murder with Joe Bukaki and Maximus Grimes in the morning. Caller, are you there? Caller, are you there or not? Hello, Maximus. I got him first. What? He's dead? Uh oh. <laughs> Someone got murder by on Monday. Better luck next time, Caller. And when we come back, we'll have more news and traffic updates with Janine. Christ, woman, get your shit together. And after that, we'll find out which one of our interns got the AIDS over spring break. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. We'll be back after this. I know. Okay. 